Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My third graders, hopefully that you are doing well. Today's story, it's a new story which is titled, what is it? Good. It's cowboy part. Cowboy part. Okay. This story, we are going to watch a presentation about it now. It's a name or it's a title, cowboy part. Okay. Cowboy part, it's our last story, this mister. As you can see here, there are a lot of uh, pictures for cowboys. As we know that we have four main points. I mentioned it many times for each story. At least you have to know those four main points. You have to know the 10 terms or 10 vocabs. Also point two, you have to know the genre of the story. Point three, you have to know the reading target skill. The last one, you must read the story to understand it. Okay, so the first point of our story for today is the 10 terms. We're going to study them after some time. Then point two, the genre is the historical fiction, and we will know how or why it's historical fiction. Point three, target skill. It's a story structure. Story structure means that the story it has uh, characters, setting, and plot. Read the story and answer some questions. We will get some questions and answer them uh, after a couple of minutes. We'll start with the first point, which is good the 10 vocabulary the 10 vocabulary number one you'll find those vocab at page 222 223 the first one is uh, dreary okay which means treeless land treeless land also it's grass covered full of grass okay number two is slick slick means it's smooth smooth flat smooth uh, surface okay slick uh, number three fish when you go to bring someone okay so you go and fetch him okay to go after and bring back somebody or something Clattered, clattered means to make a loud voice like this. Okay, you know when dishes, especially when dishes uh, hit each other or uh, bowels. Sniff, it's a quick movement of nose to smell something. Okay, smell, a sniff means breathe in through the nose to see how something smells. Okay. Rough, rough actually, it's the opposite of uh, slick. Rough, it means uneven surface, uneven surface, okay? Or uh, bumpy one, okay? Bumpy one or uneven surface. Thump, thump means to hit, you know, when you hit the table, so you make loud sound, so you thumb okay so hit in a way that made a loud dull sound pat it we know the pat those who play uh, cricket or uh, use a pat to play so pat it it means to hit okay uh, with a pat or strike something to strike something so you patted it uh, buzzing we know buzzing the sound like zzz for bees and so on. It's making low humming sound. Rustle, rustle means swishing or soft cracking. You hear that uh, sound? It's uh, now I'm rustling. Okay, so like when you uh, walk under a tree, so you walk on its leaves, so you hear 
uh, a solution or soft cracking sound. Okay. Now we will have uh, 10 uh, cards to enable me to understand our uh, vocabulary more and more. So the first one, dreary, treeless uh, land, okay, but grass covered. Second one, slick, means uh, smooth, okay. Uh, fetch, to go and bring someone or something. Uh, four, cluttered, cluttered means to make uh, loud noise. A sniff, quick movement of the nose to smell something. Rough, it's the opposite of slick, and at the same time, it means that uneven surface or nappy. Uh, thumped, it means to uh, hit something and make loud uh, sound. Batted to strike something, to strike something. And buzzing, we said the uh, la low sound of bees, okay? Last one, rustle, means the crashing sound, soft crashing sound, especially of trees, leaves. Uh, our second point, which is the target skill for today, we said it's what? A story structure. Story structure means that our story, it has characters, people or animals, uh, setting place and uh, place and time, plot. It means the consequence or the order of events. So the three uh, points of story structure: uh, characters, the people in the story, uh, setting where and when the story takes a place, and plot means the order of events in which characters solve the problem. Okay. So this is our second point, which you will find it on page uh, 226. Point three, also on page 226. The genre of the story, the type of the story, is it a humorous fiction? Is it informational text? Is it a play? No, our story for today, it's historical fiction. How did you know it's historical fiction? Historical fiction, it's a story that happened in the past, happened or, or sorry, uh, a story, uh, it's, uh, it's a story that takes a place in the past. Its events uh, took place on the, in the past. And you can know that also from the clothes of the, uh, of the characters of the story. Also you can know it from all the buildings in the story, from using horses and so on. So you can identify that it's a historical fiction, okay? Our essential question, page 227. What was, li what was life on a cattle drive like for cowboys? How was their life when they were caring about or taking care of uh, the cattle? Okay. Actually, farming was a big industry and the cowboys helped to run the farms. How they run the farms? They uh, herded the cattle, take care of the cattle, uh, I mean cows, buffaloes, and so on. Also, they take care of horses. They uh, sometimes work it on cattle drives, okay? And repairing fences around the uh, buildings and farms. Now let's move to our fourth point, which is after reading the story, we will discuss some questions. You can stop the video now to read the story, then you can answer those questions with me. The first one is, where did the cowboys ride? They uh, rode on each side of the herd. They rode on the each sides of the herd. Animals goes and they are carrying and protecting it from each uh, two sides, okay? What did a cowboy do 
when a cow straight from the here. If there is a cow straight, go away, okay? If there is a cow goes away, what they will do, they will ride towards it, okay? They will go to bring it, to fetch it, okay? Where did Part keep his eyes? He kept his eyes on his, on his brother's horse, on Jim's horse, okay? What did they do after reaching the river? After reaching at the river, what did they do? Actually, when they go there, they stopped to let the cattle or the animals drink, okay? Why did Ba pointed and shouted? Ba, he pointed and shouted at what? When he saw a straight cow, okay? So he said, you got a stray one, Jim. You can give him a hand part. Uh, he says, you can give him a hand means you can help him part go and help him. Okay, thanks for watching.